Unveiled at Tesla Battery Day in September 2020, the 4680 battery cell is set to be arguably the most crucial technological development in the company's mission to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. During the presentation last year, CEO Elon Musk and VP of Powertrain Drew Baglino outlined the capabilities of the new 4680 battery cell, highlighting five times the energy, a 16% increase in range, six times the power for less money. The event revealed Tesla's lengthy research into the 46mm tabless cell and how it performed most efficiently in charging. At the end, Musk said that Tesla is, quote, starting to ramp up production at our pilot 10 gigawatt factory just around the corner. Since then, updates have been hard to come by, but we know that the companies are building prototypes of the cell and giving them to Tesla in an attempt to win a huge contract. Here are the final updates given to the 4680 battery cells recently. Tesla cars are powered solely by the electrical charge stored in the batteries and are termed battery electric vehicles, or EVs. The reason for the existence of Tesla as a company is simply that lithium-ion batteries have the highest charge capacity of any practical battery formulation in history and are high enough to make EVs practical. Batteries for years now have only had a few breakthroughs and major developments taking place in the battery making process. For more than a decade, the human race has been stuck with lithium-ion batteries. While researchers are hard at work to find a breakthrough battery technology, we are still a very long way from using them. Since the world is becoming very conscious about our environment and turning towards becoming eco-friendly, living on recycled products, and intending to use renewable energy one day, a lot of people are already migrating to the idea of clean energy and therefore seek out products and product makers such as Tesla who are striving to create products that run on renewable energy. The idea of using lithium-ion rechargeable battery cells was first proposed by a British chemist in the early 1970s. Battery cells are deceptively simple devices, consisting of three basic components. Two electrodes, the negative anode and the positive cathode, separated by a chemical soup called the electrolyte. Tesla has been using 18650 cells manufactured by Panasonic in Asia in all the Model X and S's since 2013. The 4680 battery cell was unveiled at Tesla's Battery Day in September 2020. Tesla released a rare update on the 4680 battery cell production, which is critical to launching the automaker's upcoming new electric vehicles program. The automaker presented several new pieces of technology that, combined, resulted in a more energy-dense cell that could reduce cost by 50%. With all the different variations of batteries out there, Tesla opted to refine an existing platform that involved simpler manufacturing, fewer parts, and five times reduction in electrical parts. The new cells are designed without tabs and have shorter pathways for the electrons to travel. They're also more simple to build with fewer parts. What this means is that it offers five times the energy density, six times more power, and a 16% increase in range with just this form factor change alone. The tabless architecture of the new 4680 battery cells also has a direct impact on improving manufacturability. Not only does it eliminate the need for a tab, but it also eliminates the need for the production lines to pause to add tabs. This new tabless cell gets rid of this bump in the road, enabling the manufacturing line and making it less prone to producing defects as it hums along and seamlessly rolls up massive 4680 cells. One of the key requirements for the electric car batteries, especially on road trips, is that they need to be recharged relatively quickly, and the tabless design of the 4680 creates a shorter pathway for the electrons to travel, which means that even though you have a larger unit, you still have battery with more power in and out, resulting to a shortened charge time, fewer stops on a road trip, and a more enjoyable experience. The 4680 battery cell in a single unit is 46 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters tall. The greater overall size allows for more electrical energy storage, five times the energy storage compared to the 2170 battery that was used in the production of the Model 3 and Y. In the first quarter of 2021, Tesla announced that it had delivered 184,800 electric cars that rely on conventional lithium-ion technology, manufactured by the Japanese builder Panasonic. Tesla also announced its new 4680 battery, which will be manufactured in-house, starting with a pilot, China-based plant in 2022. The new batteries don't use cobalt, but instead employ a high nickel cathode. They also replace the graphite anode with silicon, the second most abundant element on Earth. Current batteries, including Tesla's 2170, feature tabs, 
which are metal components at the core that are welded to the electrodes. Manufacturing these parts is difficult and expensive, and the parts can be a weak link in the battery since the current flow through the tabs creates a hot spot and can cause electrodes to fail. Tesla's 4680 batteries have no tabs. According to Tesla's estimates, the new design is 50% cheaper to produce and needs about half the real estate to generate the same power as a 74 kilowatt hour Model Y battery pack. The main advantage is that the laser patterned shingles offer a shorter path for electrons to flow. Tesla says this will be the first million mile battery and estimates that it will retain 90% of its life after 4,000 charge cycles. With all these different variations of batteries out there, Tesla opted to refine an existing platform that involved simpler manufacturing, fewer parts, and five times reduction in electrical parts. The new cells are designed without tabs and have shorter pathways for the electrons to travel. They're also simpler to build with fewer parts, which means that it just offers five times the energy, six times more power, and a 16% increase in range with just this form factor change alone. Not only does Tesla claim this design will shorten charging time to as little as 15 minutes, but the company also says it will allow for a faster electron flow when demanding power for better performance. The tabless architecture of the new 4680 cells also has a direct impact on improving manufacturability. Not only does it eliminate the need for a tab, but it also eliminates the need for the production lines to pause to add tabs. This new tabless cell gets rid of this bump in the road, enabling the manufacturing line and making it less prone to producing defects as it hums along producing and seamlessly rolling up massive 4680 cells. The technology is still at least a year or two away from being a viable power source for production vehicles. Tesla has been giving updates on its interest in making this difficult to produce next level tabless battery that could improve an electric car's range and power. The battery is expected to lower Tesla's cost per kilowatt hour the unit of energy most commonly used to measure the capacity of battery packs in modern electric vehicles. If achievable, these battery cells could be groundbreaking. Tesla says that it has successfully proven the performance and lifetime of the new cells through a rigorous testing process. As of right now, the only thing that remains is ironing out some of the manufacturing process of the cell, which continues to plague Tesla's production output. The cell's development is coming along great, according to the automaker's analysis. The cell is set to be utilized in the Model Y and produced at the Giga Texas and Giga Berlin factories. Both facilities are set to begin manufacturing the all-electric crossover later this year. Manufacturing has always been one of the most complex riddles that automakers, including Tesla, need to solve to improve efficiency and accuracy. It's a never-ending battle, and finding new and more effective ways to produce and manufacture parts accurately and with high quality becomes more complex despite technological advances. The volume production of the 4680 cells is being held up by the final 10% manufacturing processes that need to be figured out. However, with less than a year of knowing about the facility, Tesla has evidently made tremendous strides in the manufacturing efforts of the cell, and the company could see robust developments and improvements in production after these bottlenecks are solved. Finally, Tesla also shed more light on the development of the 4680 structural battery pack. Tesla outlined details on its battery day event as well, stating that the battery pack would be a part of the vehicle's increased strength and rigidity. It all came down to design. The design increased structural rigidity and stiffness, preventing deformation in the events of a crash. However, testing needed to be performed, and Tesla is doing it in-house. Let us know what you think about these new updates on the 4680 battery cells by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Thanks!